Moshi Moshi, my name gamers, and welcome back to Zen Zone Zero. Without noticing, it got late again. Time to get some rest. Today, we're gonna continue doing Chapter Two. Uh, going to sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Is bed med medicine? Is it bedtime already? Yes. Sleep. Time to sleep. Wake up with the sunrise. Sleep with the sun sets. All line your body with the rhythm of the universe. The rhythm of the universe. The rhythm. Babe, babe. Who tells you just when you're trying to be healthy? Anyway, gotta check my phone first. How is your math pro how is your math proxy? Uh good good enough. Ah, never mind. I done the math over and over again and it won't change the matter who does. Uh if you want I can help out tomorrow. What do you think? There's nothing for side with you. Good night. Uh, what? Back to bed now. Mm, was it recalculating the cutting hairs with family and expenses perhaps? Though, you feel for me you should probably ask tomorrow to make sure it's another one of those Nicole's little tricks to for Bill unsettled. But what if the cutting hairs are really struggling? No, why would you even think that? That's why you let Nicole own you oh, so much shit. money. Slept in without an alarm and felt great. Time to get up and talk to Bell about... Um... I think it says no, Bell? I mean, never mind. Well, MB's DM from yesterday, I guess I just ignored. Really it. But if the cutting ears are really in trouble, as as much as I have to admit, we'll probably get involved in the end. I should okay, check it sooner rather than later. I shocked the bell and figure out what to do. Like, oh, hey, sister, if you don't mind. It's not me, Why are you You tell Bell about MB's DM last night. Well, I don't think this is one of Nicole's tricks. If Nicole really asks Amby to send those messages, Amby will send you more yesterday. But honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. Amby will tell straight away if they were really bad. Well, there's no point in guessing like this. How about we... Why don't we just ask Amby out of the clipping size twice? Uh, context has been unlocked. Mr. Amby didn't find out of the chat. Enter DM. <gasps> what? So, so contact your DMs? On the left, you can see Amby to the other context. On the wall, you can see agent content info. You can check your trust level with agent heal. Your impression is not heal. Oh, no. Let's contact MB now. Oh, shit, oh, oh. are you busy, MB? Busy. Um, I see you because of you. I want to you out. Ask you out? What? Hold up. Why did I say it like that? I'll be free as soon as I finish eating. This. No, what do you have? Why what do you have for me, Proxy? I'm on Sixth Street now. Yeah, I'll meet you after finish eating this. Uh, I'll come to you. Where are you? I'm at the gadget store. Nani, hold on. I'm on my way. Uh, let's do it in the morning. Joy, sure. let's go. Okay, who's teasing me before I go? Oh boy. Um. Oh, remember that big deploy figure to Andrew? Uh, I still need commission. When he asked for the price today, again, I guess I couldn't quite get out so, so close to him. To be honest, basically, I tried to jack up the price and then get left of it. I appreciate your honesty. Hold on, let me finish. He reached out to me again today saying we went to the cheaper hollow way last time and the guy threw up all our equipment. It was all threw up. My boss is treating a dog my performance day pay. I would dug the bow down to a despondent businessman, but please help me with another job. Uh, yeah, I suppose that essentially isn't broken. You managed to save the commission. Just like last time, pass the vision, go to the control room, and then press the edit button. I guess it must be at the AZ is going to tell it to the middle of the night to you. You can do with your eyes closed. Okay, that's a side quest. I'm just reading these for side quest wises. So, I'm gonna know down for a win. Uh, every win, every shouting with aerials, every shared off with the hollows. Oh boy. Another cycle to do. Oh wait, to MB. Hey MB, you're eating a burger. What is that? Um, a whopper from Burger King. Hey, you're here too. I'm having a burger. Do you want some? Sure. I'll just have to have a bit. That one is. This one is fucking nasty, and it contains a good balance of protein, conversion, and vegetables. I can't wolf it down if you, but even doing the battle. Uh, you seem to be a burger expert. Well, I'm just a fan of burgers. You had a decision with Amy about burger. She seemed to think that I had the food. Burgers could be complete. If you don't mind, I got something to do. What was that? It's an important task that Cole assigned me. To me. Think of which, those things I'd like to ask you. How are your finance at the store? Uh, average. We're just about, about break even. Mm, so you know, shops can still break even. It seems that Amy is deep in thought. Um. 
enemy's chain of thought? Poke? I've been going over last month's accounts for the Cunning Hairs. It's better than before, but we're still in the red. Uh, isn't Nicole always saying she wants to reduce all expenses? I was under the impression Nicole is always talking about reducing expenses. Yes. She says she wants to cut back on expenses, and she's very disciplined. Since she's mentioned it, she won't stop talking about it. Do you need some advice on how to improve your business? Do you need some advice on how to improve your business? Seems like you could really use the help. It's okay. I trust Nicole. Under her management, the cunning hairs are going to turn a profit one day. The darkest hour is just before the dawn. That's what I think anyway. Thanks for worrying about us though. Contact me if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, yeah, sure. Hopefully I'll have a small for the next month. Next month? So is that like a hangout we just did? That's what it seems like. That's pretty cool. Just uh, Let's talk to you, Belle. Yo, Berg, how did it go? Did you see MB? I tell Bill what happened when I talked with MB. Well, I accept it. It's not a big problem, but isn't a debate every month a big deal? Maybe it's for real people, but this is the clothes we're talking about. Look, MB also said the landlord wouldn't kick them out even if they can't pay the rent. Well, Nicole owns us tons of Denny's, and we can't really do anything about either. Seriously, how can Nicole really attract people who can totally hurt a level of paying back her debt? Could it be? Are we all just so careful chosen victims? Maybe it's just because there are so many kind hearted people around. Why does it sound so sad when it's actually a good thing to say? Anyway, it's good news that the cunning heels aren't taking off the new trouble. At least Nicole's dad won't continue to go for now. Yeah, that's good. So, hmm, you can invite agents to do the contract interface, complete agents' individual with simply increased trust levels. Construct intervention will cause agents to show up on the street more often. Upon reaching a certain trust level, an agent will introduce a offense tax. Completing the tax will yield extra rewards. Ooh, nice. I remember Belle asked me to visit her when I was on um, free time. Had arranged some errands for me? Well, I am pretty busy today. I should head home and ask her what's up. You are home? So, what does Belle want? Because something good you want? Uh, where do I put it? Uh, why are you sweating so much? Oh, they are right. I'll leave the black beard to my body. You told me to tie it up, but now I can't where I put them. Huh? I don't know anything about this. What you busy stalking new islands these two days? Anyway, if you're free, let me hand up. Look, later, I got to take care of. Do you wanna go do what you gotta do? Just don't forget about it. Yeah, you guys know what I'm doing? I'm gonna do the video archives! So, Kanji got a new story quest. Hold on, where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Yeah, look, guys, a new one I'm gonna do for later in the story quest. I would like to do this one, the Iron Wish, next, which I'm gonna do for this episode. One day, face an important email from Grace. The head technique of Battle Entry. The email is about an opponent's commission that acquires Path himself. From the tone of Grace's message, it sounds quite urgent. Later, at the entrance of Battle Street Concussion site, Hello there, this area is currently under construction. Only submers can enter. I'm here for Grace. You're looking for Grace? I don't think I've been told there's a guest coming today. Just a moment, let me contact her. You, the compiler will time to face the construction site and take a deeper than Grace! Are you expecting any guests? At the moment, if you need to quickly approach the gate. Open the door! Oh, and you know what the point looks, look, looks like. There's an important point of battle box. If you can see in the future, you can let it in. Hey, you're funny, I'm sorry, but I need to take this call. I'll be waiting for you in the highway. Yeah. Grace leads the gentleman in the hallway. The guys bear, open the door with and get you to welcome her. Yeah, ooh. Okay, why is walk- Do I have your lunch? Okay. Alright, Grace. We're gonna do her story quest. I might finish one episode, but it depends a lot on this. So, now we'll go ahead and see some good. Grace, we're up here alone. Uh, don't tell you anything about sucking my dick or anything while they're down there, right? Anyways, um, let's just go talk to her. There are changes in the plan. How about our collaboration plan? Grace needs to be in the, on the phone. Wait in silence. Oh, come on, it's for keeping you waiting. I'll be down soon. No partner? What do you mean? Got it. So we're all on the right? Sure, let's keep in touch. Sorry for the wait. It's okay. So, what's up, Grace? What do you need? Hey! It's been quite a while. Last time we met was when you helped us with our runaway heavy machinery, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's been ages. Indeed. We've managed to handle a few more commissions since then. Have you been these days? 
Isn't it tough working all those commissions? You have to take good care of yourself. No overtime, you hear me? Uh... Guys, when did you become so considerate? When did you start caring about humans so much? Oh, actually, every time I see you, I find it incredibly soothing. This might seem a bit out of the blue, but can I please have a hug? Oh! Uh, maybe just a little one. I want to see how she hugs. I'm going to feel tits in my chest. Oh. I guess a cordial hug is all right. But don't tell my sister. I want to see it. Come on. Sorry, I can't help it. Come on, press them against me. You never know if a hug would be warm, but just as you imagine. Instead, you just get hear your siblings from the voice. Yeah, you can put your arms back down, bro. She's hugging Eos. <laughs> oh, hi, Sid. I didn't expect you to come here. Are you mad if I her tits well on me? Yeah, I'm not like that. Hardware's been modified, right? It's mechanical inside, but so soft and fluffy at the same time. <laughs> it's a crime to be so cute. I love it so much. Ah, so she was talking to Eos the whole time then. No wonder she asked us to bring it. What? Well, those are me. Still more passionate about machines than people. Huh? Oh, the other proxy is here too. <laughs> Hello there. You don't have to say hi, but could you at least avoid drooling on Eos's head panel? Uh, everyone's still open. Let's get down to business. Everyone's here then. Let's get down to business. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I let my work habits take over. As for the commission, hey, don't you run away, little one! Seeing the chance, Angel escaped from Grace's arm while she distracted and races back to his real master. <sighs> Happiness is always fleeting. <laughs> Forget it. Let's get back to the commission then. So that time we dealt with the runaway machinery I mentioned a bit ago, thanks to Phaethon, Bellabog eliminated the potential threat to the project. My sweet pe- uh, our president also got to like <laughs> emotional baggage, so it was a really positive outcome overall. You about but to say it. if we instead turn our gaze to the company's balance sheet, we've actually suffered heavy losses. Right. Remember that, Wise? The commission was to retrieve three runaway industrial machines. But, in the end, the monster appeared and absorbed them all. Yep. We, uh, ended up losing the three machines originally allocated to the project. And despite unexpectedly retrieving the prototype, we haven't been able to put it to practical use yet. So, to make up for the loss of those children, Bellabog Industries has agreed to cooperate with the industry leader Three Gates Corp on a small project. We'll provide some technical documents in exchange for some of their heavy machinery assets. And for this commission, we'll also need your support in awakening the prototype's logic core, which contains the data we want to exchange. What about the call just now? Can you explain what just happened with the call? Eh, that's someone from Three Gates saying that another company is also looking to partner up with them. They'll probably end up using the one offering higher technological value. <sighs> it's no big deal. Anyway, the ins and outs of this commission are all there. We'll go along with your preferred style of cooperation. We're counting on you, Faithen. Okay, okay. But please, just give Eos a break. Okay. Oh, my Eos? Oh. Oh, I... Eos commission. Okay, we're going. What's this? Auto mode or manual mode? Um... Easier to trigger greater control over chain attack. Uh, let's do manual controls. I see no problem with that. Oh, we're going to prioritize logic coy. Okay, we got this right. Okay, let's see how this goes. So that one. The prototype's logic core is old and uses a ton of energy. Mm hmm. So I've retrofitted this kid with an ether storage battery. I need your help gathering enough energy for it. I'll flag any energy carrying etheric material. All good? I'm counting on you. So I just touch it. That's one out of eight. Whoa! That little guy up ahead. Enemies. Is that child just wandering around in the hollow? Uh oh. The hell just happened? Master, a small obsolete transport vehicle has been discovered. The routing information in its core database will be useful in expanding possible exploration paths. 
Okay, Grace effortlessly retrieves her tools from her belt and begins examining with the mechanism, soon laying the data storage. Uh, just a moment. After some tickling and adjustment by Grace, the transportation machine that was supposed to be scuttled is now operational once again. As Grace watched the little robot stand up and enter standby mode, a look of sadness light up her face. Great, now let's get to move on. See ya, little guy. May we meet again. Fixed right up. And so easily. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Classics. Wow, it just rammed that ethereal. Is it trying to help us? Maybe it is. Look at the kicking some ass. An ethereal's closing in on it. We gotta stop it. Warning multiple ether signals detected. Likely enemies. Oh. Okay, that's why I'm Is it just me, or is the ground moving? That's... that's a lot of ethereals. Be careful. Uh, okay. Take down, down. Buddy, do it first. Thanks. Okay, you take that one off. You take care of that one. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I go, oh shit! And eh, I should be okay if I do upwards. That's five. A button. Let's see what else I can use around here. A button. Well done. Oh, that bitch down. Okay, good. Energy storage approaching maximum. Nearly there. Okay. A bomb. Set we got a bomb too. Bomb too. Explode. Nice place. That's out of I'm getting corruption warnings on the controller. We'd better work fast, Faithen. Wow. That one's powerful. Wait, what are you doing, little guy? Did he just? Oh, thank you. That's the last of the energy. I was waiting to fire it off, but I guess not. The energy collection is almost finished. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> nice. Finally, all charged up. I'm gonna say the hell. Warning. Abnormal ether reaction detected. Oh come on! Don't even go to f fight it or something. Wait! Don't run away! What? I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Move to plan B! Okay. Yeah, don't worry, guys. We got this. We got some rewards up here. Gotta grab all this. Grab all this. Uh, uh, this. Let's grab this one. Then we'll just grab this one. And then we got your button to a cool stage. I mean, yeah, why not? Keep the enemies at bay. Oh, I've started debug. Yeah, sure. We're gonna kick some ass. Let's go, Grace. She has some money for most of us. With tools, she got a gun. You see the body, but why are you shooting down? You're harassing it. Uh oh. Four waves, got it. We're fine. The call. Get away from me! And boom. That's one way. Oh, monster standing. You trying to saw it? What are you thinking? Who's next? Three dick balls. Okay, you got it. Get away from me! Keep swinging. Keep swinging. You got this. Can you put it in me? No, you're too distracted. You're too distracted. Boom, explode. Let's go. Go, Ellen. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Don't you dare go this way. Oh shit, Ellen is too strong. Thank you, guys. Oh, last one. Big boy. 
Be careful. Oh my god. Am I? I think that was a bad idea. Guys! Oh my god! The defense are still holding strong, but there's no sign of the ether, the ether, the vein, the ether, or the rampage heavy machine base. Wise, nearby ethereals are growing in number. <sighs> the dudes are gonna go on and rampage if they're still taking your time. Grace, if we don't leave now, we'll be surrounded by ethereals. Emergency removal of control permissions is still in progress. Give me a bit more time. Warning. Ether activity rapidly accelerating. Speculation. A particularly large ethereal unit, or a large group of ethereals, is approaching. Master, have a guess. This is hardly the time to be fooling around, Fairy. Why? Tell Grace to get out of here. Detecting permission ownership, processing the switch, disabling cloud invocation, matching admin keys. Almost there. Almost! Grace, watch no. out! Oh. <laughs> a shrieking noise steals through the air besides Grace, flying to the and thus stop the oddly shaped monster's advances. That sounds like some big gun firing? Who's attacking the ethereals? Warning. Unknown him, individuals approaching. Who's that? A police follow Bliss hits the helpless enemies who fail to find cover and with a melee cracking super service and drives away all the presence. Is this a modded Fine. Guardian Fine. Mark II tactical Fine. mech? Fine. Oh wow, Fine. you can uh, tell it's modded with just one look. Fine. Seems like you're not completely off your game, Grace Howard. The Ethereals won't stay subdued for long. Let's talk outside the hollow. What? A short while later is a safety zone out of the hollow. We made it out of the hollow. Are you okay, Wise? Grace? We're fine. Eos was the real star. We're fine. Eos deserves all the thanks. Well, despite a few hiccups, the troubleshooting is all done. Ah, fiddling around with machines while surrounded by monsters. Good to see that your morbid determination has never changed. Oh, right! I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you so much for reaching out to help despite all that danger. Mmm, thanking people. Huh, that's a marked improvement. I've seen others similar to you, but you're truly one of a kind. Finally, a compliment from you? Eh, better late than ever, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> the more I look at you, the more oh, so beautiful you. your curves are. And the sheer power you contain. What is she talking about? She doesn't have any tits. Or you talking about like below her? Mm, wait up. Flattery is one thing, but I think you've gone a little too far. Man, now on. Ah, where have I seen this before? This may be weird, but can I please pet you? What the? What? Are, are you crazy? How could you ask something so rude? I mean, just a handshake would have been fine, but. Uh, she was a pet these now, like anyone. I'm sorry, I just can't help it. God, do you know she sounds like a holy person who likes to touch anything? Just hang on, let me get mentally prepared for that. The young and strange ways of the handles and closes her eye in the panic, speaking of the what's coming, but Grace presses her like nothing and goes straight to her lace. Her tentacle, what? Does this coding give additional insulation to the hull? Oh, and I bet the power supply inside has been upgraded too, right? I can hear it just humming with power, grunting, I love it! She touched her thighs! What the fuck? Uh, that girl looks frozen solid. Well, maybe she's actually quivering? And her face is so red. 
Wise, should we go check on her? No, oh, I thought you changed at least a little bit, but I was majorly wrong. You're still infatuated with machines and ignoring people around you. The frosty cold iron witch, Grace Howard. Hmm? You're this kid's mechanic? Pleased to meet you. Your child is really powerful. Ugh, shut up! We've known each other for ages! It's just you never took me seriously because of your twisted values. Huh? We know each other. But I can hardly remember seeing such a cool modded guardian mech like this before. Could you help refresh my memory? I am talking about me! Let go of my work, you mecha addict! Uh... uh do you mean Iron Witch? Don't you mean Iron Witch? Sorry, habits of the trade. Could you please tell me your that name? Like, oh, what? or tell me about this kid's corpus data. <laughs> As expected, you really don't remember me. That's fine. I'll just have to mercilessly beat you in a tech battle. Beat me in a tech battle? Oh, you're the second technological partner Three Gates mentioned, right? Yes. I, Betty Brenda, am your opponent, and I will beat you in this bid. It'll be a total humiliation for you and Bellabog. Um, the little bit of street could judge inside. You got Eagles back. We made it back to sound. Thanks to your guidance, this kid has new calm down. Is this medicine is okay? I think she's okay. I didn't see any injuries. What am I asking is, why are you okay with her? She seems to be out of Bible body, and she says she knows you? Who knows? I can't remember much of it compared to her. I'm more concerned about my kid's logical form. If the working of the hollow would well, I should be able to extract it from the ledger coin now. Let's call it a day. You can take Ados home. I'll send the hole when I get back. I'll get in touch with you guys if you have any updates or need your help again. Uh, see you, Grace. Grace Gates turns into the more than since she's goodbye. Oh boy, going home. Oh, good text message. Thank you so much for the help. S uh, speaking of which, the man who said just think that is Betty, was it? Did you remember? Wait, it, oh yeah, I was just thinking that I saw a name Betty put in the poster. Whoa, good, I taking a She used to use me. So you guys were soon together? Oh, I school that saw it's all naturally don't remember her. I found a group of four of Witcher's team and realized that she was actually my classmate. Ah, I hope you're in the same class if you oh, weren't close. It's I understand right. why you wouldn't remember. I looked at the Witcher's okay. log on my great project oh. and found out that she was actually on my Witcher's team. Uh, the same team? Then I checked the instrument of Dolly with Crooks and discovered we lived in the same dorm the whole time. We pent. Yep, it's all your fault, Gray. It's all for the students at same school as you, but for in class and even those saying damn you, if I were Betty, I'll just be as angry. No, I'll be even angrier than her. Ah, so you think this is my fault too? Sweet Pea said the same. I, I couldn't be helped. Wolsey and Jesus Sucker is a holy land of medical engineering with thousands of fascinating mechanical prototypes in here. I didn't even have enough time to get to know all the kids there. I could have actually left over for socializing. Anyway, I'll go for bed next time I see her. Yeah, I mean, you better be. Now, let's talk to Belle. Next! Okay. Who is what's, going to be opening It's already unusual. Hardly she's used to even more extreme. But it must be tough for her to see her former class if you've come her rival now. I hope we'll never find ourselves in that kind of situation. Grace is special. True, her extreme assumption is what drives her extended collection. She's already been the tech director of Bellbug Energy at such a young age. She's indeed a genius machine. Her commission isn't over yet. Let's call it with her when she made some part in her research. In the meantime, we can attend to other matters for. Alright, I think I'm done. I'm not completely done. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep on going. One of the things Grace commissioned in the parking lot of the Renault place feels to the City Street January's quarter new do. Today is the day of the important family event, repairing the business car. In truth, only one of the sampling is actually repairing while the other one is resting. Attention, you have reached an email from Grace Howard, the head tech in the parking industry. AI pausing the music for call pair of the brokers to contact the email. I have why spell this is Grace? Are the two free by any chance? I already actually enough data from the logical. We are now waiting to the next place. I did help look something, but this time it's kinda special. I don't need Python to make an appearance, just you two. If you're free, we can meet at the old spot. Bond Street could join us. Email ends. The factory reply, I think I'll pass. Today is an important day. We did play our card. See you next time. Please say send if you wish to send this reply. Uh don't send! Okay, well, as you guys later, the student arrived at the Bird Street Christian site without incident. You arrived at the destination, the large mega email said low tumor. As the vision to the guest arriving, a familiar figure is adjuring the greeting with a smile. Hello, you two! You're quick! What about the little one? 
Um, we didn't bring him because we're not heading to the hollow. We don't bring EOS on non hollow commissions. It's better to let it rest. Uh, too bad. If I'd known, I'd have come up with an excuse to make you bring him along. Uh, now you're not even trying to hide it. No. Blind man next to her step back and forth on one side. Similarly restless. Good kid. Don't worry, these two aren't the bad guys. Have you booted up that logic core yet? Going well? Don't worry, it's only partially booted for now. After the last troubleshooting session, I've managed to fully filter out the data and divert control of basic functions away from the dangerous infected data. Now I just have to wipe any sensitive data left behind regarding the prototype, and it'll be ready for the delivery to three gates. Fairy, can you help with clearing the sensitive data? Fairy, can you help with clearing that sensitive data? Negative. All logic cores that pass the forbidden fruit test, i.e. the core systems of AI-enabled machinery, are incompatible with my protocols. Forced intervention can have unforeseen consequences. Also, I prefer not to interact with ether-corrupted data. Even Fairy's power has a limit. What are the terrible consequences of accessing data corrupted by ether? I've prepared ten disgusting metaphors to explain it to you. Which would you like to hear first? Note. Human tolerance is limited to about 10 on the disgust scale. Uh, um, what's the score of the least disgusting one? 11. How about we get back to the commission? How about we get back to the matter at hand? This commission doesn't require your faith in disguise. You two alone can handle it. I'm gonna debug this kid's cognitive command system. Only a few basic protocols are needed to set up a link between commands and its behavior. Put simply, I'll issue commands like go left, Go right, touch this, touch that, and you'll need to follow my instructions in front of it so that it understands the connection between the commands and the actions. Once cognition is established, act out the commands from the kid to help solidify it. It's like teaching a toddler how to crawl or stand up. Got it? I'll run some system tests on this baby first. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Um... Step one to go to turn the code command for the child to make sure he's receiving the commands. Basically, all I have to do is touch either the wooden box or the metal bucket, and he recognizes that I'm in the center of the center back to my control terminal. The child agrees to return the retina when the box is detected, and the green center is for buckets. Uh, that's even more straightforward than I thought. You know, the most complicated system often starts with the simplest learners. Now your turn. Just touch the box or the bucket. Touch the box or the bucket? Uh okay. Hey, uh touch this touch this micro block right here. This one box is built like a tank. Simply bubble here in G-Side. Box system should be red, correct? That's my good kid. Okay. Uh and an iron bucket. A tall steel bucket that feels like thick and to touch. Bucket. Seeing this thing should be green, exactly. But you look my child. Alright. Engine cover complete. It's a great start, but today's card is an opiate. It's now time to some basic testing to a logic function. Just follow the sequence we agreed on. Red, green, red, red, green. What kind of strange thing is that? Now you gotta touch the box of book in the current order, so the kid can tell to find the walls. Then we're gonna have a smooth cutting rule put with the adjustment. That's the red, green, red, red, green deal. You tell Pussy, red, green, red, red, green. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Which one is red? Is it. Huh? I kind of forgot. Box red. No, okay. Green. Okay. Red. Red. And then green again. Red, green, green, green. That's why I completely quit. Okay, I was good, I was good. I want to see this command. Grace finally announced that the current system has been successfully collaborated. Great job! Well done! The cognitive commands have been recorded with precision. My only regret is that my little cutie Eos couldn't make it here today. <laughs> <sighs> the whole point of setting up this scheduled maintenance was an excuse to see that roly poly kiddo running around. Uh, you really quite obvious. Grace, you said the quiet part out loud. All right, the controls have been sufficiently calibrated. Now I'll perform a full reboot to test the effects. Okay. Is that gonna be okay? What if there's another rampage? What should we do? No problem. I'm fully prepared. I've dismissed all the onlookers and kept the kids' fuel to a minimum. 
And Bellabog Industries has updated their health insurance recently. Uh, you have accident coverage, right? Why so many precautions and contingency plans? Doesn't seem like no problem to me. Don't worry, I'm a professional technician and I've got everything under control. Let's get started. Great start the control panel a few times and the heavy machine base blasts out the complete string of electronic sounds before setting up the more upright precision. Very well. The control system permissions are operational. Let's start the first cognitive command test. Go five meters forward. Okay. Command unfulfilled. Repeating command. Go five meters forward. The Mugen will mean standing still. That's strange. Why isn't it following my commands? Unless... Unless it really is broken? Uh oh. Quick, why? Hide! The battery in my control panel is dead. <laughs> no wonder this kid's been so quiet. It wasn't ignoring my commands. It couldn't receive them. <laughs> False alarm. Wise, let's agree. Grace never gets to touch Eos ever again. Agreed. Yeah. I second that. I almost thought this machine was about to turn on us. I need to get a backup power supply. Keep an eye on this kid for me, would ya? Its cognition systems are still fragile, so don't provoke it. And don't let anyone get close to it. Including yourselves! <laughs> I gotta run back to the video store. So, this one's on you, bro. Oh, shit! So, no one that can be heard about the lore of the heavy machine base money. The test scene is a mess. Let's help waste tight things up over there. Uh, is this even a good idea? This one more shouldn't still look pretty heavy, but it turned out to be a waffle. Move the box. Is that a good idea? I have a sign for the officer, so definitely move. Is that okay? What if he wakes up when he starts seeing this? Moving this bucket is even more challenging. Move the bucket. It's a bit harder than expected. You need to include more physical energy the longer the game can work. <laughs> beep, beep. That sound is a heavy machine base. Let's go check. Oh no! The heavy machine has been basically to produce interest noises. Right then, the sound of could forces compared to the feeling force reached you. Don't panic. The cognitive unit hasn't received any input commands for a while, so the machine's just running a system diagnostic. Uh, um, Betty, uh, what are you doing here? Betty? What are you doing here? Hmm? Have we met? How do you know me? Ugh, Grace told me about you. Yeah, Grace mentioned your name. Ah, uh-huh, I see. So you're the Iron Witch's apprentice, aren't you? Which is why you're keeping guard here. Why is the system diagnostic showing such a strong likelihood of startup? Could it be? As she's saying that the young man you cross path with before strands the McKinney base. Ugh, Grace said it would be too dangerous for outsiders to get too close. Stop! Grace said it'd be dangerous for outsiders to get too close. Outsiders? <laughs> I'm an expert technician. Her machines usually have a soft reset button placed at the back. If I'm able to get there, I can... Uh... Is this oh, even okay? Oh, I need to be so paranoid, you scrap heap. I am here to save you. Why don't she draw her clothes now? Betty suddenly dodges and darts at the whale pin of the mech, slapping a button hard. I knew it. There was a repeat air loop during the self-diagnostic. Onboard memory was getting sapped, so a soft reboot did the trick. <laughs> it's all because of her. Insisting on the stupid logic core is what has caused the problem. Hmm. Um, did Grace this thing on? Was Grace's approach wrong? Oh, how could the high and mighty Iron Witch ever do anything wrong? This is the innovation she contributed to the industry. Grace is amazing. Grace sure is amazing. It's no wonder Bellabog Industries chose her for their technician. Jeez, apprentices these days oh, don't understand sarcasm. The logic core is a precious technological breakthrough <laughs> that grants mechanical creations the ability to have independent consciousness, potentially even enlightening a machine enough to pass the forbidden fruit test and be truly endowed the soul of an individual. However, this kind of technology is not required for production tools like industrial machines. 
Hawkins. I admit that the efficiency and work capacity of Bellabog's heavy machinery are superb, but the cost of production and maintenance is going to be out of this world. Unfortunately, buyers on the market love pursuing these unnecessary and uncontrollable gold-plated features, so the industries followed suit and started researching personality tools. Well, let me ask you, if you want to make an axe that chops wood faster, will you equip it with jet thrusters, AI systems, and a voice that yells at you, master, master, every time you poke it? Uh, I... What? What would I say number two? That's kind of weird. Uh, it sounds a little bit much. Hmm. Perhaps that is a bit excessive. Listen up, apprentice. Tools are just tools. Their value lies in being easy to get, easy to use, and easy to replace. Use them while they're good, and chuck them out once they're broken. Personifying or putting them before humans is heresy. And that's exactly the type of person your teacher is. She's mastered new applications for personified operating systems and in doing so has grown contemptuous of humanity she's just a weirdo obsessed with tools who gets things backwards but it speaks to the motion and stop the heavy machine based with a loud clack oh god what did you do huh how is it moving again you just smack it Hang on, stop right now. I was being careless just now, not um, hostile. Ah! Abort startup. Okay. If we first stop the heavy machine base, causing it to return to standby mode. Huh. That was a close one, but luckily I caught it. You, didn't I say not to provoke this kid? Mm -hmm. Betty, what are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> yep, nothing. Just uh, here to inform you. Three Gates Corp has officially recognized my company's application for tech cooperation. And, well, only one of us will be granted resource support on the evaluation day. Be forewarned, Grace. I see. Well, thanks so much for passing on the message. If there's nothing else, I'll keep tweaking my little problem child, okay? Oh, yeah. And as for you, thanks for your support today. I'll give you a call when I need a hand next time. You can head off now. Having said that, Grace clearly walks over to the heavy machine base without looking back and focuses on her debugging work. Uh, see that? Something might have happened just now, but she clearly cared more about the machine than her own apprentice. That's the cold iron witch I know, but it's fine. I'll soon let her know to never take people lightly. Uh, nobody seems to notice the sound coming out of the phone in Betty's pocket. External digital download complete. What? External download? What? Part 2 doesn't seem so long though, as the first one. You're back, guys, eh? What's the all expression? What happened? Tell you something what happened. It's been good to spot over the different view of the machines. CG, I should have stayed for the drama. According to Grace, she might contact us again for the press conference. There should be the last contact. Once we had it, collision will be considered complete. I'm getting more and more curious about Grace's past. How about we have a chat with her after the commission is done? Maybe we'll take a breeze asleep. I'll keep an eye on the group chat. While we wait for Grace's message, you can get back to your date sets. Thanks for your hard work. No problem. One more quest and then we're done. Whenever you help Grace suggest the machine, you're expected to see a familiar figure of 6th Street. It's Grace's competitor, Betty Bender. What's she doing here? You need to share news with your sibling. Huh? What's Betty doing there? Street uh, CCTV imagined Rajiv. She appears to be talking to an officer in Geneva Body Language 1. They were engaged in a heated discussion. 2. They were quietly arguing. Certain, the better completed Grace's hard work coverage. Master should learn more about this conversation. Very, what should. Now, why do you suggest I go over? I just really want to know. Aya has a right to go to too. Uh -huh, I'm, I'm very sorry this time. Go listen to him, bro. In any case, she thinks you're going to pay so there won't be any trouble. Okay, okay, I don't know what's happening. Even if it's just for the sake of conversing with my sibling. Just right there? Why am I staying here? Shouldn't I be somewhere else? I can mention the meaning point is safe. How long do I have to repeat this? Eh? Are you? Who's the penis? What are you doing here? One sec. But it was just thing off the officer again and then turned around. So what means you? Does your own push have the message for me? Uh, I'm just passing by. Yep. Mm, you get the better than that, master. 
far. It's actually no better time for you to be here by now. I've been down a mission for you, Master. Surely you lost a bit. Nani! I completely wish it in a way of assuming this was the biggest reveal. We'll soon hold the present of the for my results. I'll be the first to hit the target. Go back and tell your master that she's welcome to attend the presentation. I'll post the address to the, on an Aqua Knock business channel. Please make sure to check it. Our long time rival is finally come to an end. Don't let your master run away from the ending. Please tell her what I said. See you soon. Benita and Lee soon as she finished speaking. Oh boy, time to go to Grace. Never mind, we talk to sister. Hi, Belle. You're back, wise. Quick, spill the tea. I gotta drink a snack ready. Uh, let me tell you what happened. You show Betty's message with your family. Family? You mean sister? Nani! Betty's about to complete her research and she invited Grace for practice. Awesome. awesome. I can't wait to see them piss each other's hands up. Okay, please don't speak like those people and they're not wise. We should text Grace to tell about it right away. Joy. Grace, are you there? I'm not here. Not there, then he was fine. Good thing you know those children of yours. We got news. Betty wants to kick your ass. She's always says she's gonna wait in the build and has invited the kids prepared to be meet and greet. She asks why to pass on the message for you to attend to. The address is in none of the business channel. Hang on, let me see. It's somewhat strange, huh? They're just gonna meet and greet. It's inside a hollow. Huh? Inside a hollow? Yeah, complete hollow of the living hollow is an awful good sight. I'm guessing basically the medicine has to do with that modest garden make of yours. Maybe you should meet those weapons inside the hall to give Judge off his firepower? One of these apart from three Grace covers mutate. If the text cover is based upon Militech, that makes sense. Powder powder Grace, do you want to go? Yeah, let's go take a look. It's a big loss for a bell but the best out of a bit. Knowing your enemy isn't always the worst thing. Besides, we can check out the new tech in action. Could I count you to the navigation? Let me know when you're ready. Unway whatever. Got it, Grace! Let's go! This is Betty's typical achievements. So this is the last part of the story because I'm done this episode. Okay, we got this. Oh, enemies around here. Following failure in navigation, everyone is finally brought to Betty's location. Beside her stand the model Guardian MK2, typical mech. You're too slow, Iron Witch. Me because we're too so big? Betty! I'm already warmed up. Introducing the new tactical mech, upgraded for CoreLogic OS, Witch Hunter Alpha. Come on, demonstrate your might to our guests. Commence offensive maneuvers at six o'clock and nine o'clock. Following orders. What? The male was one of the human voice and the scene performs a cover over to a tactical motions. It seems to me with the met uh, Mark Grace was debugging. It seems similar to that mech Grace was debugging. Oh, what's wrong, Grace? Hard to believe the personality OS you were so proud of has been replicated by someone like me. A cheaper, more productive, and easier to deploy modular personality OS. The maintenance oh, the costs are half buddy? what you pay. There are none of the whole stability or personality disorder risks you fretted about. Didn't the market applaud your tech patents? They'd always say only someone who loves tech as much as Grace could achieve this. <laughs> the cold and withdrawn Iron Witch, a weirdo who treats machines like people. This black magic you've been researching for so long, cracked just like that by me. Ooh. So the only way when the mech completes the technical levels before they return to Betty's site. Task complete. I suggest switching to auto defense mode. Send back to me. Is that okay, Master? Go ahead. What? Its intelligence system is crude, but I like its gumption. Approximately one millionth as professional as me. Um. All right, Barry. Don't add fuel to the fire. Wise. Is Grace okay? No, uh. I don't think it's a power of, as power as the machine you trained. I think the machine you've trained has a higher chance of winning. That oh, voice is so lovely. I can't what? believe she just caved like that. Well, no, of course she would. Uh huh. She sounds horny for them. Ugh, that's kind of funny, by the way. It responded to the voice command and executed the instructions without any redundant movements. And the steering mechanism's brake nozzle is gorgeous. It only listed one default command when recommending actions and still so immature. I love it. Oh, <laughs> enjoying it? Why are you admiring your rival's work? Mm, this kid looks really good. Hmm. Uh, 
Grace, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Wait a moment, Grace. Don't fall head over heels for your rival's work. Uh, yes, I don't like it yet. You claim to have replicated Bellabog Industries' patent, but I won't buy it just like that. I'll believe it when I see this kid show us a little more. Show it to me. Right here, right now. Best if you let me take it apart myself so I can see better. You know, the more you say, the sketchier you get. Why would I let my rival disassemble my work? But, well, you do have a point. I'll have Witch Hunter Alpha accompany you to demonstrate the difference in technological achievements. I've uploaded the coordinates of Three Gates' meeting place to Witch Hunter Alpha's memory. Enjoy its company and appreciate its skills along the way. Really? Thanks. Uh, but this doesn't mean I can see. Wise, I'm starting to worry Grace is gonna switch sides. I hope not. This is the meeting point Betty mentioned. That? I didn't expect this kind of company. Prepare for combat. Let's go. Yeah, like that one? Okay, let's fight Grace. Yeah, let's go Grace. <laughs> With the grenades and all that shit. I got the bombs, I got the shit ready. I got my nail gun. Is that what she holds? That's what it is. That will shock you. Oh my God. Okay, go in the corner. Start swinging at these fuckers. Okay, go Ellen. He's already dead. You're overdoing so much blood on the wall. Damn, girl. I don't even know she's dead. Ah! Yeah, that's me. Ooh. Yeah, fire all of them. Yeah. I didn't wait. One is still standing. Okay. Next area. I mean, okay. And this way? Oh, that looks like a boss fight, Ogina. It kinda does. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's. Swimming and boom. Woo! Get away from Holy me! Holy, try. Hello! Alright, we got that down. Okay. Hey. Then. Okay. Nah. -uh. Yes. Yeah, some of the nades. Monkey, fire at you. Yeah, swing your tail. Okay. The pleasure's all good. Wanna help me test this? Oh, Go ahead. The one is so cute. I'll just explode. Huh? Explode. Yeah, that's right. We explode his ass. Now that's over. I hope okay. nothing happens when the three gates reps arrive. Yeah. All right, we got this one. Verify the source of the masterpiece. Following her command, and give me back name. Witch hunter after to get through takes a question. Guarding grace. Um upon hearing your morning, your power was still after. Huh? These small times there are no much to the really watcher alpha. Um okay. Very positive location. This is where the scared to meet the people from the key point. I'm allowing witch hunter after a couple you there. Okay. Go on. Alright, witch hunter alpha. Enable escort mode. Take out the ethereals up ahead first. Orders received. Suppressing with force. Go on. Just like that. Come on, the middle. Oh shit! That was fast and so accurate. Don't compliment your rival. <laughs> oh, I am just getting started. Warning, units with high ether activity detected ahead. They are likely strong enemies. A direct confrontation is not suggested. Scanning for a suitable detour. Okay. High risk ethereal slot. Commence an evaluation. Go uh, on. It rushed off just like that. It's fighting it. Go! Oh, such a powerful hit! Damn! 
Uh, what should you do obviously speaks with a smooth, smooth liquid voice. Seeking to include with the weather is actually a, actually a lot of exo climates. Uh, don't worry, you've done a great job. Feedback saved to data table. Data root cancelled. Cancelled? I guess we don't begin. Warning. The area ahead contains many unfinished buildings. The path forward is blocked. Strategy modification is required. Scanning for a suitable detour. Um. Uh. Does it want to force its way through? Guess it did. Now that's surprising. Mm hmm. No location? Okay. Can everybody hear me? I've decided to give you a special demonstration of the long-range firepower of Witch Hunter Alpha. The personalized operating system I built is more precise than your version, Grace. You can command it effortlessly. Witch Hunter Alpha, destroy hostile units ahead. Open fire! So, those guys? Target locked. Awaiting orders. Fire! Catacol, grounded missile launched. Just like that? Huh? It missed? No. It's still... <laughs> so you could tell. Right? Now, correct. It can identify the best target to strike. Okay! Interesting. Oh, what the hell is this? We're relying, the, we're relying on Russia's alpha to support your firepower. Mobile in response to The group's soon wide location Betty has provided. We're here. Good timing. The three gates reps and public security will arrive shortly. How about it, Grace? Willing to admit defeat? <sighs> I'm willing to admit this kid is indeed a superior mech. With strong firepower, good mobility, and responsive right. controls. A weapon well suited for mass production. Mm -hmm. When I first encountered it a few days back, it didn't have the personality OS installed. I never expected our patent to be reverse engineered to such an extent in such little time. Mm. Uh, I finally got to see the day that Grace admits defeat! <laughs> not just yet. I have a question to ask you first. Ask away! It's not a question for you. It's for the kid. What? Grace is supposed to put feather now in defense mode. And when Italian system is with her, she says, Witch Hunter Alpha. How high should the driver's seat be set? I have neither a pocket nor a seat. Your question does not make any sense. What if you were to suggest a seat height? What would it be? Nothing over 140 centimeters. <sighs> okay, I listened to which one's alpha response. Quest person suddenly grows serious. She quickly leaves the perspective to bypassing the targeting system dead zone. Seat height? What kind of question is that? Betty, shut down Witch Hunter Alpha right now, or uninstall the personality OS. We need to take it out of the hollow ASAP. <laughs> what nonsense. I have no idea how you've gotten your hands on it, but I'm certain your personality OS is plagiarized from the data frame I've deployed in our prototype. Uh, uh, hey, no need for such ugly accusations. Resorting to this all because you can't admit failure? Just because you oh, asked a useless say. question, you're now accusing me of plagiarism? 140 oh, centimeters. That was Coleta's height back then. Huh? The former president of Bellabog Industries, Coleta's father and but my mentor, Horse. When he finalized his prototype, he calibrated a specific seat height so that his daughter could pilot it from the get-go. That height was directly embedded into the logic core. <laughs> On the way here, I realized which Hunter Alpha's thinking patterns were similar to those of our kids. I was suspicious if you used the same data framework. The answer to this question has finally convinced me. Only our prototype, a Bellabog Industries mech, could know this by default. Because my sweepy gets mad if the seat is set too high. How... D you and your venomous slander! That's just a coincidence! You know deep in your heart it's not. Listen to me, buddy. The logic core data from the prototype hasn't had comprehensive troubleshooting yet. Well, There's the still lots of corrupted data that needs well, stripping away. Using a copied framework means it's also contaminated with corrupted data. Oh, and we've already been inside the hollow for over two hours. 
This kid is at risk of losing control at any second. Why would... No way. You're lying. I won't be tricked. Really? Still not giving up. Fine. Here's another task for Witch Hunter Alpha, then. Translate this. Red, green, red, red, green. Red, green? Now what are you up to? Box, bucket. Box, box, bucket. Huh? How... How are you speaking in unison? Because this is the cognitive command code I installed when I debugged my kid. Wake up, Betty. Turn off Witch Hunter Alpha right now. Hmm. Uh, you can tell it's supposed to cause she's copied all the errors over too. You can tell it's plagiarized because she copied all the errors over too. Warning. Hostile behavior detected. Initiating self-defense mode. <laughs> I know you're just bluffing. Go, Witch Hunter Alpha. Get rid of this trickster witch! The sharp frame of the Tetameg moves, holding high and heavy cannon. Oh, huh? And talking its own mechanism. Betty, watch out! See? Did you listen? Hostile targets locked. Commencing pursuit. Talking to the chase non extinct enemies and Witch Hunter Alpha pops into the deepest of the hollow. Proxy, let's go after it! Uh oh, what's the rest of Oh! Witch Hunter Alpha, stop! Oh, we're gonna fight that thing? It's lost control. After it! Hold on, let me grab. Ooh. I'm just going to extra stuff here. And the blue stuff too. That's the only one. Where's the other two we need? Oh, there he is. I'm like, what the hell is it? It's just a simple mistake, a, a little hiccup. My goodness. That child is your heart and soul, right? Hurry up! Like, come on. Oh, Okay, we're gonna be extra careful. Uh, ouch. Oh my god, my teammates. What? It dodged it? The, the, my teammates? Um. Tender Alpha, enough now! Do as I say! Stop! Oh, now we're gonna fight this thing. Great! My HP is low! That is not good! I got some guns in front of me. Yep, that's how you do it. I gotta be real careful. I gotta be real careful. Doing this fight. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if this is trying to kill it all, but Jesus, look at that. Okay. Time to reload. They it. I don't care about them. Get away! Okay. What's this? Yeah, let's flash you off. My enemies? No? You're good. I need me to heal! Damn, that's the structure this would do. Like, seriously, that's not good. I'm gonna fight that big guy next, I'm guessing. Nope, okay. Move it. Move Watch out, Nicole. Just wailing. A little more easier if the things are uh, close to each other. So far away. Pick you up over here. Oh, pick up. Don't you touch me. No, no. We're good. Oh, Christ! This time, out of the way. Same thing. Okay, Grace. No one will! Nicole! Grace! Go for the dick! Yeah! <laughs> Went for the dick. Are we good for that medical thing or are we good? No! 
no! Why won't you? S Don't lose your head. Just get after it. Yeah, focus, focus. Well, somehow still alive. Oh, we're stuck. Warning: increase in engine output detected. Um. Very well then. You forced my hand. Now, set the explosives along its current trajectory. What's going on? Go down! It's still moving. Uh, Why? Why? Okay, heal! We need it! Oh my god, it's HP is ass. There you go. Alright, it looks like we're gonna have to fight this off. Warning! Fire control system and onboard Please. weapons have been damaged. Entering attack mode. Uh oh. The target's hull has been damaged. Ether activity is steadily increasing. That's no good. We're not doing enough damage to stop it. Oh my gosh, how could this happen? Betty, what now? Any contingency strategies? You're asking me? Of course I'm asking you. You're that child's mechanic. Uh, you know it inside and out. Think about how to solve this problem. The That's logical is already corrupted. I, I can't command it. God damn! Pull yourself together. Now's moment. not the time to be pessimistic. Oh no. Those mech attacks keep getting stronger and stronger. Okay, Are there any software vulnerabilities yes. we can exploit? Any hardware damage? Contingency protocols? Module defects? Think! Quick! Run! What's that? Run! Just run! I, I admit it. I plagiarized yeah, your data yeah, framework. Yeah, I just yeah. build a simulation layer over the top of the base structure. I, I don't know how to deal with this situation. Let's run. Our weapons aren't enough to deal with it. And it will only get more dangerous as it corrupts. So what about your mission, then? What about the Three Gates reps? I'll, I'll explain things to them and let this crazy piece of metal fend for itself. And we can still call up the HIA to come take care of it. What kind of joke is that? <sighs> That's why I even heal Grace Roy. I didn't expect that. That's the first time I've ever heard Grace roar. Why can't we run away? Anyone with common sense would do the same. We're no. An experimental weapon that's not all the time. And our only control tool is broken. That's it. Let's leave things up to public security or the HIA. It's totally reasonable. I know what you're thinking. You just won't give up on that mech. You want to save it like it's a person, but this obsession with machinery is fanaticism. Why are you making me stay with you? Enough with all your nonsense. Leaving problems behind for someone else to handle. You're just shirking your obligations. You're that child's mechanic. It's your responsibility to deal with it. Run away? Have you thought about how many other people would be risking their lives because you neglected your duty? Betty is sure of expression goodly class beneath the anger of Grace's little book. It takes her a few seconds to squeeze out the silliest part in the answer. I, I... I don't know what to do! Hand over the control panel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Take back control. Take back control of the logic core? While it's being corrupted by ether? How? You said that you only built an emulated control layer, right? If the central control system and mech command are carried through the emulated control layer instead of direct authorization from the logic core, then there's still a chance. But that'll be almost impossible unless some magic happens. Frosty Cold Iron Witch. Mm, huh? Isn't that the name you've been mocking me with? If you need some magic, don't you need a witch on your side? Hmm. So let's go fight this machine now. Or oh, eat this, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna see the off for the last part of the wave. Okay, oh, oh, ow, 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 hey, hey, hey. Don't hit no abs. Nicole! Let's go, Nicole. What's this? Blast that one! Yeah, 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 distance. Okay. What the hell am I fighting? Clear out. Oh, that one dodge. Hey, no. Get your ass over here. Oh, we're going forward. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, this music. <laughs> Alright. Yep, the some. 
Let me through. I don't care. I don't care. This one is down. Oh my gosh. Why is there a big one here? I mean, not really. I'll be fine. Just keep me. Blast away. Oh, we're going to the mechanical over here, the pole. Okay, he's like, woo! Okay! Oh, he's walking away! Get away from me! Why is there a big one for them? Nah, you missed your shot. Never mind, you put her die. Oh, the laser actually! Ooh. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Move it! Go! Come on, bounce back, bounce back. Come on, bounce back or not. Ready? boss fight. Oh, you think? Oh my God! What? What was that trick shot? What's it going to? You missed! Ay! Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, you all? Damn! Put that bitch down. Its main control system's damaged! Now's the time! Betty, give me the control panel! What? Here. Cut autonomous order percentage. I can't even focus, this little bouncy. to G44. Seize fire control radar module. Change power distribution to manual. Restart energy pump. Ah, uh, too slow! Just hide behind for now, you'll be good. Its logic core is out of control. We won't make it. Is the soft reboot button in the middle of its frame? Yeah. Wait, you want to try a manual reboot? Uh, are you out of your mind? No, trust her. Trust the process. Isolate and disable weapons. I, it's done. Huh? But that one isn't. Damn, look at those moves! How could you move with those large boobs? She still managed to be flexible at the end though. Nice shot. Manual. Press the button. Right? Oh come on! Grace! Grace! No, this. No, this can't be the end of Glaze. What? So I'm gonna go play Fee now. What? Oh, just look for the shoe. That's it. Oh, for free? That's just one foot. I mean, <laughs> what a good kid. Welcome back. I mean, it was smart though. It was chucking a shoe. We wouldn't better than nothing, honestly. <laughs> After a short while, Pop Safe Voice worked together with weapons, sexy from Defense Voice, and this part, the Voice Hunter Alpha. Yikes! I never expected those Pop Sec agents to come so fast. I didn't get a chance to appreciate that kid's insulation coat as much as I would have liked. What a texture. Despite all the battle damage. <sighs> Uh, Grace, you're awesome. Incredible, Grace. Truly amazing. Turns out, Grace isn't really a freak. She only acts like one because she's a consummate professional dedicated to her field. Hey, that was rude. Do you think it's easy being a corporate technician like me? Especially considering how young I am. Oh As an apology, I'll let you I'll give me this cute little thing to pet. I mean, research for a few Bye -bye. days. Uh... Go on, Earl. She won't hurt you. You do deserve a reward. Hmm. How about it, Eos? Would you make the sacrifice? Uh, no, 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 no. It's like a no. Okay. As everyone will count down, the three great coins will pass by the classified looking young girl. 
Betty. <sighs> Betty Brenda! If you want to laugh at me, be my guest. I've got nothing to say. Great job constructing that emulated control layer. Huh? The voice print conversion command was so good I almost got fooled. <sighs> Even though the incomplete data framework caused lots of operational errors and low efficiency, there's still lots of room for improvement. If you're interested in personality OS research, I can give you some sample data from our prototype. Of course, you'll have to wait until your suspension is over and you've regained your mechanics license. <sighs> I lost completely thoroughly. Good luck with your technical collaboration, Grayson. <laughs> Your mechanical follows the making out of the hollow once more and for just one second her back seems to just a little bit straighter. Uh you're still want willing to give her sample data? You're still willing to give her sample data. Proxy, have you heard of horsepower as a unit of measurement? It indicates how many horses would be required for an equivalent output of force. Industrial machinery usually has a horsepower of several hundred or several thousand. Don't you think this is a real boon for horses? Because these machines end up saving hundreds of them from the pain of manual labor. People are just the same. An industrial machine can save dozens of engineer teams from hollow-related danger. And a tactical mech can save several combat squads from having to face ethereals. And me? Actually, I can't say that I simply love machinery. All I'm infatuated with is the prospect of saving humans from getting ruined inside the hollows and sparing their families all the suffering and grief. I may have destroyed wait, 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 wait. many times the machines that my peers, indirectly or otherwise, have. So that's really why I'm a witch, you know? Even if it makes me cry out in sorrow, I still have to send these kids out there to face fatal threats. But if there were more witches like me in New Eridu's future, just a few more people willing to care for these machines and shed tears for their sacrifices, well, maybe these kids would be more willing to forgive us for what we expect of them. Mm-hmm. Grace takes the heavy machine back base back with her for checkup and repairs. Now we fly up for Grace's commission. I should take it this back to the shop and take a break. Hey, Bill. The question is all without a glitch. Quick work, Vice. You too. Yo, we seen a very cool side of Grace this time. This turns out Frosty Cold Iron Witch isn't a judge or nickname, it's an honorable title. Also, no one gets injured in the end, nothing beats that. Indeed. Why why don't you check on this matter? Should tools just be tools? Is there any point in us that attracts other feelings into them? If they are nice to them, that's easy for us to dump them later. Does it make kind of heartless? Uh, I agree with... Probably Grace. Really? I kind of idea how to really like to say that way. Anyway, the question has probably come to end smoothly. Let's take a break and get back to our routine. Mm -hmm. Now's that done, the next story quest I'm gonna do, which is gonna be this one, will be for next episode. Never mind, I gotta do that first. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the side, you know.